Hi, my name is Tim Stratton. I'm a Reasonable Faith Chapter Director here in Kearney, Nebraska. You know, about 10 years ago, I was hired here at the Kearney Evangelical Free Church to be the youth pastor, uh, to work with high school and college students. You know, I started a life group, a Bible study for young men, and it didn't take long for me to realize that although I was passionate about sharing the gospel and telling people about Jesus, many young people were having a hard time accepting it, having a hard time believing it. In fact, one young man who was the son of an elder at the church, he became an atheist in front of my face. He came up to me after a couple of years of being in my Bible study and said, Tim, I'm not coming back to youth group this year. I'm not coming back to Bible study either. And I said, well, why? And he said, well, I'm an atheist now. And I said, you know that's not true. And he said, no, I don't know that, Tim. I really don't think God exists. And I said, you know that's not true. And he said, I don't know that, Tim. I've been reading Richard Dawkins and uh, Stephen Hawking and Sam Harris and Christopher Hitchens over the summer, and, and they've convinced me that God doesn't exist. And I said, well, why would you believe that? And he said, well, I'll tell you what, Tim, if you can answer just one of these questions from these guys, uh, one of their objections, I'll, I'll stick around. And he probably gave me 10 or 12 to, to pick from, and I couldn't answer any of them. I was powerless, I was impotent to answer any of these questions. In fact, they were good objections. It kind of shook me to my core, so to speak. And, and this young man, he walked out of the church, and he's never been back since. But that sparked something in me. And I went home that night, and I was praying. And, and although these objections shook me, they seemed good. Uh, it kind of shook my faith just a little bit. I, I went to God, and I prayed, what, what do I do? And I felt like God said, Tim, if you're going to be a shepherd, you need to learn how to defend the sheep. And I, I felt like, God, you've got the wrong guy. I, I don't know how to do this. I don't know where to turn. H how am I supposed to learn how to interact with these atheistic scientists and philosophers? Well, I began a journey, and I was introduced to the work of a guy named Dr. William Lane Craig. And I started going to his Reasonable Faith website, you know, buying his books, watching his videos, listening to his podcasts, watching his debates. And wow, my life was transformed by the renewing of my mind, as we see in Romans 12 too. Uh, studying the work of Dr. Craig helped me to see a bigger and more beautiful picture of God, and my faith skyrocketed because now I had reasons to believe it, good reasons. Well, this ultimately led to even going to Biola University to get a master's degree in Christian apologetics. While attending Biola University, I also became a Reasonable Faith chapter director. Now we have Reasonable Faith club meetings on the university campus here in Kearney on Tuesday nights in the science hall. And on Sunday mornings, we meet here at the church. I'll tell you what, I'm seeing lives transformed. I'm seeing uh, young Christian students who've had their faith rocked not just get their faith back, but have it stronger than ever. I'm seeing atheistic students <laughs> lose their faith in atheism and come to Christ. And in fact, I'm even seeing professors come to Christ in the process. Dr. Craig, I want to thank you for your work. Uh, it's radically transformed my life, and I'm seeing it transform the lives of so many others. God is using you, Dr. Craig. He's using your work to transform this world. Thank you for what you're doing.